Hello everyone, it's Colin again, I'm back with another video today and today we're going to talk all about words that people confuse, words that people get mixed up and in today's video I want to try and speak a little bit slower than I have been because I've received a lot of complaints recently about one, my accent and two, how fast I speak. Bear in mind, please remember that this is how people speak and you really should try and get used to this way of speaking because this is what you'll hear if you go to the UK and especially, obviously, where I'm from in Scotland. Anyway, let's just get straight into today's, into today's video. Some of these words are homophones and homophones are basically two words that sound the same but they're either spelled different or they have different, they just have a different meaning altogether. But they sound the same, they're spoken in the same way. Oh, remember to subscribe. Please remember to subscribe if you like this kind of video. I, I would, I would, I'd be grateful. First one today, stationary and stationary. Now this is a homophone. They sound exactly the same, but one letter is different. The stationary with the A is to be still, to not move. For example, now, I'm stationary. The photo I show is the picture of a stationary train. It's not moving yet, it's stationary. It's not going anywhere. The second stationary is, one second, I prepared this. What's inside here? Highlighter, sharpener, rubber, pen. This is all stationary. So that's number one on our list today. Number two on our list today is another homophone and it's pour and pour. First pour, we know is just get my favourite cup. I've actually got a kettle sitting here for my video. So we've got pour. Oh, there we go. Did you see that? I poured water. The second pour, there are little holes in the surface. Uh, it can be on rocks, can be in the ground, can be on your skin even. The little holes that allow dirt or water or grease or anything like that, these are also pours. So that's number two in your list, guys. Pour and pour. I just realised I also need to pour some milk in my coffee because too hot. Number three today on our list is advice and advise. Sorry, I should have said advise and advice. For example, I advise you not to go out when it's raining. Why? Because you'll get wet. I advise you not to go in the sun without cream because you'll get sunburned. You'll look like a lobster. I'm advising you. So advise is a verb and advice is a noun. I advise you not to go out in the sun without any sun cream. Why? Because you'll get absolutely sunburned, really red. There's a Z sound and advise, the verb form. Advice has a more S sound and they're often, 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 often confused. My advice to you is not to go out without sun cream. If you don't want to get a hangover the next day, I advise you not to drink. This is my advice. Number three today, guys, advice and advice. Number four, historic and historical. Easily, easily confused, but they're kind of different. World War II was historic. It was a historic event. Why? because it changed everybody's life. Leicester City winning the Premier League title and I think it was 2016, 2017, was a historic event. It was an important moment in the past. Historical, on the other hand, just relates to the past. World War II was historical, it happened in the past, but historical, this map I'm going to show you right now, is a historical map. I mean, it could be historic, it probably didn't change the lives of people. So this map is historical. It's simply a map which relates to the past. It's a past map. So historic, historical, just one to remember. Number five, affect and effect. They sound almost the same, right? They're not homophones though. Affect and effect, slightly different. Affect is a verb, effect is a noun. Affect. If I don't sleep well or eat well, sorry, I've got something in my eye. If I don't sleep well or eat well, it affects my training. The effect is that I cannot train well. They're, they're used in the same way, but slightly different, they're just simply verbs and nouns. If you don't study hard for a test, and you should, it affects your results probably, or it will affect your results. What was the effect? The effect of you not studying was that you failed the test. Just remember, verb and noun, affect and effect. Number six, alternate and alternative. Are, are we in number six? I can't, honestly can't even remember. I'm all over the place this morning. Anyway, number six, I think, alternate and alternative. Alternate is a verb, it's a noun, it's an adjective. Alternative is just an adjective and a noun. Alternate just simply means to take turns. Me and my friend are driving to the seaside. It's a long, long drive. I don't want to be driving the whole way, so we need to alternate, yeah? He drives, then I drive. He drives, then I drive. If we have another person, can also alternate. The person in the back can also take a turn at driving. Alternative 
just means to have another choice, another option, even another decision. What's the alternative to coffee in the morning? Possibly tea, energy drink. I don't recommend it. Water, milk, these are all alternatives to coffee. Yeah, there are other options, different options you have. Next one, I think we're on number seven, is complement and complement. Now these are homophones, uh, only the E and the I are different. You'll see them on screen to give you an idea. Complement with the E is to make something better when added or put together with. For example, I brought my Poitki of Shana. This is oats, basically, for anyone who doesn't know. Shout out to Poland. These are, these are quite good. These are what I have every day for breakfast, but they're kind of boring. This, mio de nectarove, nectar honey, we can say. This complements this. Why? It makes it taste better. It complements it. You see a nice woman, oh, I'll put these away. You see a nice woman, nice man, nice woman, we'll say. She's got, she's got a nice top, she's got a nice jacket, but there's something missing. Maybe they're not something missing. But if she wears earrings, or like a nice scarf, these items complement the item she already has on. It makes her look a little better. So that's compliment with E. Compliment with I is to give praise to someone to say good things about someone or to you know applaud them, praise them for things that they've done. So this woman, you could compliment her or give her a compliment on her earrings. You know, oh, you've got nice earrings, really beautiful, thank you, great. Someone makes a nice, lovely dinner for you. Your friends, they invite you over, they make you a nice dinner. Oh, the food was lovely, the, the spread was really nice, the table was laid out really well. These are compliments, give a compliment or to compliment someone. So again, homophone, sound the same, different meaning altogether. Last one, finally, you've stuck with me this far, let's keep going. We have continuous and continual. These are easy to get mixed up, and actually, if you use them, I probably don't even care. I probably wouldn't even notice, but it's my job to notice. Someone says to me, I studied continuously in the summer. Okay, I use the adverb form there, continuous, continuously, continual, continually. I use the adverb form, don't worry about it. I studied continuously in the summer. No, you didn't. You'd be dead. Studying continuously in the summer would mean that this person didn't stop. Continuous is without pause. It rained continuously in the summer. No, it never. Even in Scotland, it didn't. You could say it rained continually. Why? Continuous is without pause. Continually happens for some period, but with pauses, with breaks. You could say it rained continually in January. So it could be one or two days, and then a pause, three, four, no rain, five, six, seven, rain, day eight, day nine, no rain. This is continual rain. It lasted for some period of time, but with breaks. It rained continuously at the weekend is viable. Why? Because for 48 hours, especially in Scotland or Ireland, or any of these other wet countries, shout out to them, it can rain continuously for 48 hours. So that's the big difference between continuous and continual. My neighbours have continual parties. It's not every day, it's not every minute of the day, but they do it often. So they take a break during the week. Ugh, I hate those people. Guys, thanks very much for watching. We've come to the end of our video. Can you please subscribe to the channel if you liked and enjoyed this video? Share it with your friends. I hope my language was a little bit easier to understand today and you got what you came for. Like I said, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day or a great weekend. A great week or a great weekend, depending on when this gets out to you. If I don't see you before then, have a really nice Christmas. Cheers.